What's that one vegetable you all hate but I'm going to make you love today? It's called gajar. Let's make gajar ka halwa. Come, let's make some. And to make this delicious halwa, I'm using here half a kilo carrot. I have taken the long ones because they are seasoned. I am using here about 200 grams condensed milk. This is homemade condensed milk. If you want the recipe, give us a comment. I am using one cup of milk, two tablespoon of cashew nuts, two tablespoon of almonds, two tablespoon of raisins, and I am going to use about three tablespoon of pure ghee and a pinch of cardamom powder. First step, we are going to grate the carrots. You have already grated them, and now we are going to start with the process. So now let's get started. I have taken here a big heavy bottom pan. In that, I'm going to add in about one big tablespoon of pure ghee, and let us melt it a little. Now we are going to add in the dry fruits, and we're going to give it a light toss: the cashew nuts, almonds, and the raisins. Let's slightly change the color of the dry fruits, and then we are going to remove them and keep them aside. So they are already done. So let's remove them and keep them aside. Now in the same pan, again add in about two tablespoon of pure ghee. And now we are going to fry in the carrot. So we are going to add in the grated carrot in. Now fry this carrot for at least about five minutes. Turning it around. All the time. Okay, you can see the carrot has almost dried up now. The moisture is almost gone. Now we are going to add in this a cup of milk, and we are going to cook this carrot a little bit more. Keep stirring till the milk also is totally absorbed by the carrot. And you can see here, I'm going on stirring it, and the mixture is nicely getting absorbed. And then we will go for the next step. You can see the carrot has been totally dried up. The milk has been absorbed. And now we are going to add in the condensed milk or sweetness. And also to give it a nice flavor. Here goes. Look at the way how it is nicely getting absorbed in the carrot. Now nicely stir this. Till you think everything is nicely blended together. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more sweeter, you can add in about two tablespoons of sugar. I'm not using because I feel it is sweet enough for us. Now you can see the mixture is drying up. Now it's time to add in the dry fruits. You can see how lovely they look. Now keep stirring this till you get it nice and dry. Now you can see. The kajal ka halwa is almost getting ready. I'm going to add here one teaspoon of cardamom powder, and you can get a lovely aroma for this lovely kajal ka halwa. And you can see your kajal ka halwa is almost ready to enjoy. Now our kajal halwa is ready. Now let's plate it. And guys, look at this. It looks so scrumptious and so delicious. Mouth watering. Can't wait to try it. It's hot, hot right now. Let's just wait, and then I'll tell you how it tastes like. Also, for more recipes like this, short and sweet and amazing, follow and subscribe to our channel, The Food Diary from Mom to Son, and follow me on Instagram, Mr. Kurkuri. You can have this gajar ka halwa hot, or you can have it cold. It's your choice. Are you team hot? Are you team cold? Comment down below and let me know. Look at this, guys. Oh my God. And your gajar ka halwa is ready. Come, let's try it. Wow, this is so good, well balanced, and the nuts and the dry fruits are just amazing in this. So come, make it now. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Mr. Kurkuri. Bye bye.